Mecca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Mac here playing a Plague Tale Requiem and in this video we are in chapter 9 near the beginning and there is an optional puzzle that you can do here in order to unlock secret armor. It's going to be a bracer that will make you stronger. Now if you walk around the area and explore, you probably will have stumbled upon the windmills and the four windmills are actually a large puzzle that opens up a secret door to a secret cave. These windmills are labeled one, two, three, and four. You'll notice the Roman numerals above the doors. We're first gonna go to windmill number one and we're actually going to stop it. You can just walk in through the door and interact with the brake in order to push it in and it'll stop. Then we'll move on to windmill number two this will have a slightly different mechanic to get in. You'll have to interact with the post that has the rope. Pull the rope down. This will allow a bunch of the materials to fall off the ledge. You can then approach the windmill from this ledge, interact with it to jump up, crawl through the small hole, and then you'll be able to interact with it in order to also turn off windmill number two. You can then exit out the front door if you want to double check on the Roman numeral but we'll make our way over to windmill number three next. Oh, it worked! Shh, let's get away discreetly. Now to solve this puzzle, windmill number three has to be turned on, but it's gonna be on by default, so we're just gonna ignore it completely. You don't have to do anything with windmill number three, but do move on to windmill number four, the last one in the row. This one's also pretty easy. What we wanna do is we want to crawl underneath the cart. This will gain us access into a little bit of a fenced area with a ladder. You'll probably understand what's happening fairly quickly. Climb up that ladder. This will allow you to view inside of the windmill through a small window. You can then use your sling to shoot open the lock on the back of the door into windmill number four. You can then crawl down the ladder where we came from or jump off the ledge, whichever you prefer. If you run around to the front door, you'll notice the Roman numerals for windmill number four, so you know you're on the right one for sure. But if you go inside, you can find the brake. This one is already off, and because we need to turn it on, we're going to interact with the brake and pull it out, releasing the mechanism and turning the windmill on. When this happens, you should feel a controller vibration, you should hear something happening, and your characters will discuss that something happened, something moved, although it didn't really seem all that close. By interacting with the windmills like this, we actually just opened the door to the secret hideout or the smuggler's lair, whatever you wanna call it. In between the two middle windmills, if you go facing away from them, you'll notice that there are these small arches. Walk underneath the arches and at the end turn to the right and you should notice a small ladder that goes into a hole in the ground. You can now go in here and it'll all be opened up for you because we did the windmill puzzle. In here there's a bunch of stuff you can interact with like tools, pieces, and items you can use for crafting. So that's pretty good to have just to be able to you know upgrade your character and have all the alchemy you want to be able to use. But I think the most important thing here is the armor or the bracer that's found pretty much at the very end. Now somehow Sophia will outrun me on these stairs like an absolute lunatic, but at the end you can just kind of follow the path in a straight line. Feel free to explore a little bit and grab everything you need, but in the pursuit of keeping this video brief, I'm gonna make a straight line for the armor. Now when you pick up the armor, you'll actually get like a little unique cutscene about it, and there will be a tutorial that shows up on screen about kind of what it does for you, but it basically allows you to recover from enemy attacks faster, which is incredibly useful. You can carry this through the rest of the game with you, and if you go into New Game Plus, you'll also get to carry it forward with you and basically start a brand new game with this armor if you wanted to. The characters even have a little conversation about it right after you pick it up. But I think this is a really cool little Easter egg, a really cool thing you can grab on your way through the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Share the video with a friend, drop a like, and hopefully I see you next time. A special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.